If you're new to the channel, you'll probably work out very quickly that we are a channel dedicated explicitly to dental and medical school applications in the UK. So it's no shock that every week I'm getting lots of questions about the UCAT and one of the most common ones is which book should I use to help me study and prepare for the UCAT? So. There are some books that people do tend to like, and this one particularly, and I'll link it to it in the description below, is one that people tend to use. However, slightly controversially, I would say that I would not necessarily recommend books when preparing for the UCAT. Here is why. The exam is on a computer. It feels very different to how you prepare when you are reading a book. Now, the reason I say this is because I always treat the UCAT a bit like a performance. What you're being asked to do is a set of verbal tasks, arithmetic tasks, maybe some logical working out or some IQ style questions that you need to do at speed and under pressure. So exactly the same way that I would say if you're preparing for an event or maybe a sporting match, you want to mimic the real thing as much as possible. And doing it on a book, like I say, feels very different. Now. The book learning only comprises a small part of the preparation anyway. I would say that you should divide your UCAT preparation into three phases and I talk about that in this video here which is going to give you a plan for how to break down the preparation and divide it into different chunks. Now it's really only for the first chunk that you would do the stuff that's required that you would find in a book but like I say I always think it's just better to do it on screen. So using an online resource instead, I think and in my experience of teaching people has proved much better and much more effective. So if you are dead set on using a book, I'd recommend just using it for that phase one prep. If you want to find out more about the phases of preparation and how you can tailor your UCAT revision plan to you and based on how comfortable you are at the moment and how far away the exam is, I recommend that you check out this revision plan here. Otherwise, if you want a really reliable online resource, which is much more what I'd recommend, I reckon that you should check out this video here where it gives you a fully comprehensive online resource for all the types of questions, all the techniques, and gives you work throughs for how to get comfortable with answering those questions. So thank you for watching and best of luck with your UCAT.